So let us read the question. The angle of depression of the top and bottom of a building 50 meter high as observed from the top of the tower is 30 degree and 60 degree respectively. Find the height of the tower and also the horizontal distance between the building and the tower. So as per the question, we have a 50 meter tall building. Let us name it as KB. Suppose we have a tower here. Here is the tower. We will be observing the top of the building as well as the bottom of the building from the top of the tower. We are supposed to find the height of the tower. So let us take the height of the tower as H. So let us take the height of the tower as H. So this is the ground level between the tower and the building. We are supposed to find the distance between the building and the tower and also the height of the tower that is H. So these are the things we are supposed to find. Hope these three things are clear. Now coming to the angle of depression. Angle of depression of the top of the building which is being absorbed from the top of the tower. So this is the view from the top of the tower and this is the horizontal line from which we are supposed to take the angle of depression that is 30 degree. Draw the parallel line to this horizontal line and it is very easy to get the alternate angles which are equal. Whenever we are going to take the angle of depression, we have to take it with respect to this horizontal line itself. There is a detailed video about how to take angle of depression and the common mistakes usually students do. You can check for the link in the description box and you can have a clear idea about that. Now, one more thing they have given is from the top of the tower to the bottom of the building there is a view and that angle of depression is 60 degree as said it has to be taken with respect to the horizontal line again and this angle will be 60 degree as a result since again these two lines are parallel they form z-shaped angles known as alternate angles this angle is 60 degree. Hope the given parameters and the unknown values and how to take the angle of depression is clear. Coming to the mathematics. So let's start with the solution. Let the height of the building AB be that is already given it is 50 meters. Let the height of the tower, well, let us take it as H meter. So, tower, let it be H meters. Let the tower be of H meters. So, in this problem, we will be considering tan 30 and tan 60. We know that for tan 30, it is opposite by adjacent. So, which is the side opposite to 30 degree, it is RS, which is adjacent, it is AS. Similarly, for 60 degree, we consider this triangle that is triangle BRT. So, in this triangle, which is the side opposite to 60 degree, it is RT, nothing but height of the tower. Then, which is adjacent to this angle, it is BT, nothing but X meters. That is the distance between the uh, building and the um, tower that is in the ground level. So, knowing these things, we can, if we know the procedure, we can continue with the calculation. So, this is the summary. This is the whole procedure, how it goes on. And one more thing. Suppose, this is the complete height of the tower is H. What about this ST? It is nothing but the height of the building itself. It is nothing but the height of the building itself. Hence, this is also 50 meters. Then, what about this RS? It is H minus 50. It is H minus 50. We should keep this in mind. It will help us for calculation. So, first let us start with tan ratios that is tan 30 is equal to opposite by adjacent that is rs by as what is rs is equal to it is complete h height of the tower minus this minus that is minus this will remain with rs so so, 
from the height of the tower we will be removing st so that is h minus 50 h minus 50 centimeter so on substituting and as if you observe from the diagram since we have taken this distance as x these two are equal and parallel so as is also x as is also x then we know that tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3 is equal to h minus 50 by x that is equation 1 now considering tan 60 that is from the triangle brt again opposite by adjacent that is opposite is rt adjacent is bt what is rt nothing but the height of the tower that is h what is bt it is x what is tan 60 it is root 3 take this as equation 2 that implies x is equal to h by root 3 take this as equation taking equation 1 that is 1 by root 3 is equal to h minus 50 divided by in place of x can I write it as h by root 3 yes it is h by root 3 it is divided by when I take it to LHS it becomes into so 1 by root 3 into h by root 3 that is equal to h minus 50 that is equal to root 3 into root 3 is root 3 whole square h by root 3 whole square is equal to h minus 50 square and square would get cancelled h is equal to 3 into h minus 50 that is h is equal to 3 h minus 150 3 into h and 3 into 50 now taking minus 150 to lhs it becomes plus 50 plus 150 taking h to rhs it becomes minus h that is equal to 2 h 150 is equal to 2 h take 2 to lhs it becomes divided by that is 2 ones are 2 sevens are putting 1 2 fives are therefore h is equal to 75 meter that is the value of h is 75 meter it is 75 meter we came to know the height of the tower we should still we should still find out the value of the distance that is x value that is the distance between the building and tower that is substitute the value of h in any one of the equations so let me substitute it in equation 2 what is equation 2 x is equal to h by root 3 substitute h is equal to 75 there 75 by root 3 on rationalizing 75 by root 3 divide and multiply by root 3 we get it as we get it as 75 root 3 root 3 into root 3 is root 3 whole square it gets cancelled it is 75 root 3 by 3 that is 3 ones are 3 twos are 6 3 fives are 15 hence x value is 25 root 3 meters so x is equal to 25 root 3 meters it is the distance between the tower and the building <laughs>